Mediterranean diet, however fruits and vegetables maintains your vital sign low. Because fruits and vegetables contain the correct combination of metal and atomic number. They're the perfect food for maintaining your vital sign at a healthy level during my childhood and teenager years. I eat fruits and vegetables because my mother told me I had to eat them. After I left my parents' house, I kept eating various fruits and vegetables on a regular basis because I was used to do it, not a bad reason in this particular case. However, when I moved from my hometown to the USA, I decided that I was too busy to eat fruits and vegetables. I was always in a rush. So a piece of Kentucky Fried Chicken and a biscuit for lunch became the norm. But after I lost two friends to breast cancer and one to a heart attack, I decided to engage in a career as a registered dietitian. I then complete that once my mother insisted that I Greek deity the vegetables on my plate, she was offering very healthy, sage advice. Through nutrition analysis I additionally discovered that fruits and vegetables, among many other health benefits, help us maintain our blood pressure at a healthy level. What is high blood pressure and why is important to prevent it? Blood pressure is how forcefully the blood is banging against the walls of the arteries. If you have high blood pressure it means the heart is pounding harder than it should to send through the blood vessels the nutrients and oxygen the cells need to maintain life. Continuous high blood pressure can cause havoc in your body because it 1. Causes the walls of the arteries to thicken, a condition that reduces the blood flow. 2. Makes the inside of the arteries rough, contributing to the formation of plaque, mounds of fat and debris deposited in the wall of the arteries. Plaque reduces the space available for blood to circulate. 3. Enlarges the heart. An enlarged heart becomes weak and has to work harder to send the nutrients through the blood vessels which results in high blood pressure. 4. Weakens the inner walls of blood vessels triggering the formation of a balloon or aneurysm. This ballooning may cause the blood vessel to rupture causing a hemorrhagic stroke. What are you able to do to stay a healthy blood pressure? Be physically active. Limit sodium salt in your diet. Don't smoke. Avoid high alcohol consumption. Maintain an appropriate body weight. Why can sodium be a problem? Sodium can be a problem because when we eat a lot of salt we retain a large volume of fluid in our blood vessels that needs to be moved around. And what do you think moves all that fluid in your body? Your heart. The standard recommendation for atomic number metallic element is between 1,500 and 2,400 mg a day. American public consumes between 4,000 and 8,000 mg per day. How will we manage to ingest such a lot metal in our diets? Because we have a tendency to eat uncountable processed foods and really few fruits and vegetables. Why are processed foods so high in sodium? Manufacturers of processed foods use salt as a precaution as a result of salt keeps microbes microscopic organisms that transmit illness. At bay. Always detain mind that regarding 75p, C of the salt we have a tendency to eat on a daily basis comes from processed foods, 15% comes from cooking and 10% from natural foods. So however will fruits and vegetables maintain low blood pressure? Fruits and vegetables are terribly low in metal. The atomic number metallic element content of a bit of fruit ranges from 0 to 5 and from 1 to 70 mg in vegetables. An average portion of vegetables contains regarding 10 mg of metal. At a similar time, when you eat fruits and vegetables, you are replacing other foods in your meals that may be high in sodium. Fruits and vegetables are high in potassium. Potassium is a mineral that plays a key role in heart functions and muscle contractions, making it an important nutrient for a normal heart, remember the heart as a muscle. Potassium works with metal to control the water balance within the body. Diets low in sodium and high in potassium lower blood pressure, which reduces the risk for strokes. Fruits and vegetables are rich in calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium are extremely important to maintaining normal blood pressure because they are required for nerve transmission and regulation of heart muscle function. Many studies have shown that as we have a tendency to increase the consumption of foods with a high content of metallic element, the risk of high blood pressure decreases. Particularly if we have a tendency to maintain adequate intakes of metal. Now that you know one of the main reasons why you need to eat fruits and vegetables. Would you find the time to include them in your daily diet? 
Here are some practical ways to help you do it. 1. Have a bit of fruit for sweet when your main three meals. 2. Have a bit of fruit or some veggies as snack if you're hungry throughout the day. 3. Have your veggies as a part of your main dish along with your two main meals. 4. Eat salads with your meals. And by salads I don't mean macaroni or potato salad. Final thoughts. Making fruits and vegetables part of a lifestyle that includes regular physical activity as well as a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol can work wonders for you when it comes to maintain a healthy blood pressure. Remember, prevention is better than cure.